All right, I know a lot of people called me out about the empty mug in the last video. I literally had coffee before I filmed this, but this one is also empty. Greetings and salutations, friends. Welcome back to another video. I know we've been doing a lot of tech on this channel. However, it's been a crazy month for technology and there have been a ton of new products coming out. And I definitely wanted to be one of the first ones to get my hands on these products so that I could share them with you guys and let you guys know my thoughts. Now, in these past few videos, we've been talking primarily about the new iPhones that came out, but today we're gonna be talking about the brand new MacBook Air. All right, so the shipment just came in today. However, before I unbox that, we also have another little shipment that came in from Apple. But if you've never seen the packaging for the Apple card, this is what it looks like. I just got it in yesterday. Basically, you open it up and it's this really, 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 really beautiful looking gradient that honestly is just mesmerizing. I could look at this all day. But obviously, it comes in that titanium finish. That is loud. But yeah, this thing is definitely pretty thick. The reason I decided to get the Apple card was obviously I've been purchasing a fair amount of Apple products lately. So getting that cash back on this card is going to be a huge plus. And I just like the fact how it looks. So now I'm gonna be able to stick it inside my MagSafe wallet right here and I no longer have a need to carry around a bigger wallet. All right, like I said, today we're talking about the brand new MacBook Air that came out. Let's do a little bit of an unboxing. Sheesh. All right, so this is Apple's brand new MacBook Air that's featuring their new M1 chips. If you watched the event a couple of weeks ago, the big thing that they announced was that they're coming out with a brand new line of Macs that are featuring this new M1 chip. It's essentially a processor built entirely by Apple so that all the functions on your laptop are able to work more cohesively. But the reason I wanted to pick it up and share it with you guys is that I think this could potentially be the best laptop to buy for college. So enough talking, let's get straight to the unboxing. I know I say every Apple unboxing, but Apple actually makes it harder to open up the products to give it that feeling of suspense. Dang, this thing is sleek. All right, I don't know if you guys can see it as well on camera, but this thing is thin, y'all. I'm talking less than a credit card length. Now, if we compare it to the dimensions of this MagSafe wallet, it's like literally identical. Obviously the other thing you're going to get in the box is going to be your cable. And then with the laptops, they are including the power brick. So if you did not know, Apple has brought back that famous sound. Let's just go through and set this up real quick. All right, so while we wait for this to finish setting up, my initial impressions of the MacBook Air are that number one, it's impressively light, obviously it comes in the name. They also haven't done anything major in terms of the design. Pretty much everything is staying the same. Unfortunately, you don't have a touch bar and you have your traditional keys. However, a lot of people do prefer these traditional keys rather than the touch bar. In addition to that, you have the improved keyboard with better typing. So right off the bat, I will say this laptop is very responsive. This is my first Apple device that has this new M1 chip. So I'm really interested to see how much faster it's going to perform on the apps that I use most often. In addition to that, I really wanna push this laptop to the limits because I know a lot of people are debating whether or not they should upgrade from the MacBook Air to the MacBook Pro and whether or not it's actually worth it for them. When people have been asking me for my recommendation, I usually say that if you're a heavy creator that utilizes apps such as Adobe Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro X, Photoshop, Lightroom, apps like that, then yes, the MacBook Pro is going to be worth the investment. On the other hand, for the majority of students, if you're really just using a laptop to do your homework, write a couple essays, create presentations now and then, then the MacBook Air is going to suffice just fine. So yeah, this baby is all set up. It does have Mac OS Big Sur already installed in it, which looks great. So I can definitely say that this laptop is responding very quickly. Opening apps are super responsive. It doesn't seem like there's any lag. Obviously with your new M1 chip, just the entire ecosystem within this laptop is going to be working much more smoothly together to provide you the best experience possible. But guys, this is really just my unboxing and initial impressions. There isn't much more I can tell you without actually putting this laptop to the test. If you guys have any questions about what this MacBook Air is capable of, make sure to leave it in the comments down below and I will try my best to answer them in the upcoming full review. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to drop a like down below. Do you guys have any new thoughts on the M1 chips or the new MacBooks that came out? And as always folks, stay gold.